Take a look at this, your standard Aussie backyard. Great place for kids to play, but here there's something missing, a cubby house. Every kid needs a cubby, somewhere where they can go wild. But this one I build isn't just your average cubby, I'll be taking it to the next level. Hey, boys, how are we? Yeah. This is a great size backyard, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. What do you think if I build a cubby back here? Yeah. That'd be cool? Yep. Yeah. All right, well, give me some energy, give me some high fives. All right, I'll build an extra special cubby for you. Sound good? Yeah. All right, see you, boys. These three trees make for the perfect spot for our jungle cubby. I'm going to have a deck out the front that you step up into, two windows on the side and a door at the back. That way it allows the air to flow through. Then I'll be cladding it with bamboo and planting it out on the outside to give it that real jungle feel. Now, because I'm going to be using bamboo that goes in between the frames and these round posts, it's a good idea to paint everything first because it saves all that cutting in. And in my opinion, you get a lot better job. Well, the holes are dug, so it's time to get the posts in. Now, instead of mucking around trying to set up string lines, I've just made a big square out of the timber we've got laying around. That way, I can just set it up over our holes and we know that when our posts go up against that, everything's square. Beautiful, mate. All right, our posts are set in place. Now, because our posts are H4, they can go into the ground. For our subfloor, I'm using H3 timber. So you just want to make sure that you keep it off the ground, otherwise it will rot out. So I'm going to get these perimeter beams on, nice and level, then we can cut our joists in, and you just want to remember to use galvanised fixings. That way, nothing will rust out. For the flooring, I'm using plywood. Because of the knots, it gives it a nice texture which will add to our jungle feel. You'll notice that we've put a row of noggins where the two sheets are going to join. That's because this plywood isn't tongue and groove. So the noggins are going to support the join and stop it from squeaking. Once the floor is glued and screwed down, a lick of paint will bring it in line with the rest of the cubby. All right, the floor's down on the cubby and stained, so it's onto the walls. I've got my timber that I stained earlier, so I'm just going to cut it up to size, nail the frame together, and leave an opening in the middle for a window. Same plywood as I did on the floor, I'm going to clad the outside. and it's ready for a stain. Now to turn this wall from a plain wall into a wall that belongs in the jungle, I've got some bamboo screening. I'm going to be running it horizontal at the bottom and vertical each side of the window. I'm just using tin snips to cut it up to size. And you'll notice that I cut it a little bit longer so I can take a few rows out, which allows me to re-tension the wire and a staple gun with 10 mil staples in it to temporarily hold it in place. The inside's a bit bare, so that's going to get the same treatment, bamboo screening. Now you can see why I painted this frame earlier, because it would be an absolute nightmare to paint now this bamboo's in place. The cubby is really taking shape now. The walls just slot into place and the galvanised bugle screws do the rest. To support our roof, we need beams and a couple of posts at either end. For the roof, I'm starting from the underside and working my way up. So I've got my rafters cut with a 30 degree angle on each end. Then, with this bamboo screening, I'll lay that on top. Once that's in place, I can put my plywood on and fix everything off. That way, when you walk inside the cubby and you look up, everything's complete. Because I'm making the roof in two parts, I'm attaching a ridge board, so when the two halves come together, it gives me something to attach them to. Now, the underside of the roof's done, we can get onto the top. So I'm laying out some corrugated tin, which will make everything waterproof, then laying battens across that and fixing through the lot. Once that's down, some more bamboo. Roll that across the battens, fix them off, and we've got one half of the completed roof. As you can imagine, there's some weight in this roof. Right. So a mate comes in really handy to put it in place and fix it off. 
And to tidy it all up, I'm adding fascia boards to hide the edges and the joints. I promised the kids I'll bring the animals to the backyard. So straight out of the jungle book, I've got the panther, Bargira, the bear, Balu, and the tiger, Shere Khan. I've just printed these images off the internet and put a grid pattern on the paper. Then with some plywood, I've made a bigger grid pattern. So it's a matter of just copying that image of Balu straight onto our plywood. Then we can cut it with the jigsaw, paint it up, and we'll have these animals in the jungle in no time. There we have a bear. This isn't just standard paint, this is chalkboard paint. So the kids can have fun drawing whatever they like on it. And the best thing about chalkboard paint these days is you can get it in a wide range of colours. It doesn't just have to be the standard old black anymore. You'll notice that I haven't fixed most of our animal friends in place. That's so the kids can pull them out and play with them whenever they like. Except for Bagheera, he's up there keeping an eye on everything. And I haven't forgotten the snake car either. Just a few more finishing touches and we'll be done. All right, boys, come on out. What do you think? Do we know? Pretty cool. Tell me, what's your favourite part about this? The panther. You like the panther? Yeah. We'll see the eyes on the panther. It's got. It's going to be watching you, making sure that you're all behaving. What about you, Lockie? <laughs> I don't know. It's all crazy. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's good, isn't it? What do you like, Noah? You like the tiger? Yeah and, yeah, and that bear over there. The bear, yes. Now, I could keep talking to you, but I can see you're itching to get in and play in your cubby. So go have fun, boys. Enjoy it. <laughs>